Hi, my name is Claire Kovacs and I'm with Chesapeake Family and I'm here at the Summit School with the Executive Director, Dr. Mm -hmm. McCarthy. And I wanna thank you for sitting with me. Uh, we're just, we're trying to talk a little bit about anxiety, um, kind of anxiety in children more so than adults. Mm -hmm. And I was just hoping you could give us a little bit of your knowledge and just share with us um, the problems that anxiety is, um, that it's in this day and age, it seems that it's becoming a bigger and bigger issue. Mm -hmm. um, so can you just give us a little bit um, sure. overview and sure. um, and just any advice on if you can apply um, just tactics or anything sure. like that? Okay. Um, that would Thank be great. You. Thank yeah. you. This is a really, really important topic. It seems like, and it's more than seems like, there's data to support the fact that, that um, there's more and more reporting of anxiety in children, young children all the way through high school. Mm -hmm. um, and the science is starting to look at what is causing that. Um, I have my own ideas on that, <laughs> um, but I, don't, I, I think I, I, I'll refrain from that. Um, but the bottom line is anxiety is real. Mm -hmm. um, anxiety is most likely genetic, okay. um, but it also can be triggered by excessive stress in an environment. It could mm -hmm. be post-traumatic stress. It could be the daily environment in which a child is in. Um, and, and what's very key to understand is that anxiety is real and that there's a brain science that underrides, underpins our understanding of, of anxiety. Mm -hmm. okay. Brain chemicals are different, and when brain chemicals are different, then brain structures, macro and micro, become changed. And so we have to recognize that it's not all in somebody's head and they just have to get over themselves. Mm -hmm. And now, um, especially with children, thinking like, you, you know, children. looking at a seven year old, right. you wouldn't want to say that. So um, exactly. that's very interesting that it is you and know, so. Right chemical and scientific. And it's not just test anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, so there is overall generalized anxiety where the anxiety exists all of the time. Mm -hmm. That the child constantly worries about things that as a parent or an adult, just like, why are they worried about that? Um, and then there's specific anxiety. Sometimes there's school anxiety. So a child may, be appear, may appear very anxious when school is in session and then be this chilled out, very fun-loving kind of kid in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So um, a clinical psychologist, um, a good pediatrician, and also a, a child psychiatrist can help a parent filter through that kind of information. Okay. And that's very important information to decide whether it is a generalized anxiety mm -hmm. or whether it's a specific anxiety to specific kinds of environments because then the, then the treatment and intervention mm -hmm. differs. Certainly. Um, so you would think that you're advice would just be to go to a respected medical professional Correct. that if you are concerned or you have any um, idea that a child um, in your life is experiencing anxiety just right. that is a you know exactly. step number one exactly okay. That's so for children here are some here are some typical symptoms so if a child is excessively worrying about things that that in your eyes as an adult you just wonder why are they so worried on mm -hmm. that getting stuck on maybe barriers that, that might prevent them from doing what they want could be a symptom of anxiety. Trouble sleeping at night might mm -hmm. be a symptom of, of anxiety. Restlessness or fatigue during school days. Um, inability to do schoolwork when you know that the child is very, very capable and that their academic skills are good. Mm -hmm. um, trouble concentrating. I call it was cat cat catastrophic crying, like all of a sudden the child just bursts into tears for oh. no good reason. Mm -hmm. That could be another symptom. Okay. Um, irritability could be a symptom. When you feel that your child isn't just right and isn't happy, there's probably a reason mm -hmm. for it. And so as parents, asking the question is important but then seeking the answers yes. to find the answer to your question is even more important mm -hmm. because you want to seek every opportunity to help your child do well in their environment, which is school, be happy, mm -hmm. and grow right. up happy so that they can be functional yeah. as adults. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, our first, first goal as parents is we want our kids happy. Doesn't matter how much they learn. It doesn't matter how much homework they do versus another school, mm -hmm. a child in another school or another child. It's, is your child happy? Because if a child doesn't feel comfortable in their skin, they're not gonna function in their environment, which is school. Wonderful, yes, well, thank you. That is excellent. I mean, I will take that personally, that yeah. advice, you know, and so um, just thank you very You're much welcome. for just You're sharing welcome. that knowledge with yeah. us. We really appreciate You're it. You're welcome, so, it's a pleasure. Again, thank this you. is Dr. McCarthy from the Summit School, and we just wanna say thank you for joining us. Thank you, Thanks. pleasure. Bye.